proudly sponsored by Premier Gun. One thing I forgot to mention last week when we had a gamekeeper winning an MBE, on the Scottish Gamekeepers Association website, there is a fascinating piece of literature written by Helen Ferguson. And this targets Ruth Tingay, who is a third of Wild Justice, as I'm sure you know. She does a Raptor Persecution blog. Helen Ferguson has hit back and come up with why almost every single point is invalid. I'll put a link to that in the description for you because I think it's absolutely fantastic reading. Really, really good work there, Helen. Well done. I haven't got a guest this week, but I did spend the morning speaking to Basque, which I'm going to put out as a separate interview. Well, I uh, told them that a lot of people weren't happy, that they felt that lead shot was being forced down their throats, and that, as a members' organisation, it wasn't necessarily representing members. I don't think I spoke out of turn. I haven't heard anything else really to the contrary. I am aware Basque do a lot, and they do do a lot, and I'm sure that when we come to need Basque, Basque will be there for us. I'd like you to have a look at the video. I'll put it on at the end of, at the end of this little update for you so you can see what was said, and how Dr Marnie Lovejoy, now there's a name for you, apparently after a Hitchcock film, uh, how she answered some of, the, uh, some of the difficult questions and what they're planning on doing in the future. So I've just put it out for you. It's as it is on Zoom. It was a very enjoyable morning, actually, when all said and done. So that's a little something for you after this. As you know, we're approaching the end of the month. It's voting time for the CPSA Awards. I'm not going to go on about that too much because I've reminded everybody about it about 30 or 40 times now. And the same with the British Shooting Show Awards uh, that are held by Future, the publisher that brings us Country Life, The Shooting Times and Sporting Gun, which I'm sure we all know and love. They also bring us The Shooting Show. Last week's video was one of mine. The Dead Man's Shoot, as it's affectionately called, I'm sure you've heard of that sort of thing before, with the wonderful Gerwin Jones. I hope you had a chance to have a look on the Premier Guns YouTube channel as well, because there's some interesting little guns and interesting little things coming out of there with Matthew Morgan, who I'm delighted to work with and will be seeing on Tuesday. You need to get to Doveridge before then because the clothing sale has started today. It runs until Sunday and there are some tremendous bargains. Quite how they're managing to do this, I really don't know. You need to be snapping them up. All the shooting apparel, all the big names for a fraction of the price. I do, however, know why they're doing it. We're having a new shop fitted while we're at the British Shooting Show. All the big names are going to be there. I absolutely can't wait. 18th to the 20th of February. Get it in your diaries. As you're aware, the game season is now coming to a close. I'd like to thank all the shoots that have welcomed me onto their buses and land in order to take photos and videos. And I'd like to give a big shout out to my local shoot as well, who I haven't seen as much of as I would have liked to this season. So, what can you do? Well, the Churchill Challenge is coming back on the 10th of January. £6,000 cash prize. I think EJ Churchill deserve a massive round of applause for offering a £6,000 cash prize, plus 4000 of other prizes. That's at their Buckinghamshire ground, where I film the European Championships featuring Scott Chuckford and Miss Chelsea King. You can see it on this channel. And also... Chris Childerhouse shooting his dad's side by side and an interview with Rob Fennick as well where he paid tribute to his course setters which reminds me there's only a few days left so please do get on top of that if you haven't done already I think that's about it from me really not much more to say just have a look at the Basque interview and let me know what you think about that all right thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye bye